What's up, y'all? This is DJ Kenny Parker, DJ and producer for Boogie Down Productions slash KRS-One, and today I'm back with another story. Now, today's story is part of the series that I call Epic Fails, When Hip-Hop Goes Wrong. Now, before we get into today's story, I want to answer a question that some people have been asking me about in the comments section below. The question is, who are the guys in the pictures behind me? The answer is, well, first, this picture here is of my main man, who I love and miss very much, my partner, the diabolical Biz Marquis. As a matter of fact, this picture was taken the last time that I saw Biz in person which was Christmas of 2019 at the Mobile Mondays Christmas Party in New York City. Rest in peace, Biz Marquis. Now, the picture that I have over here is of a very important person in my hip-hop development. His name is Jimmy Spicer, a.k.a. Super Rhyme. As I mentioned in my book, my brother's name is Kenny. If you don't have the book, pick it up. I'll put the link in the description below. As I mentioned in the book, the song that Jimmy Spicer made called The Adventures of Super Rhymes was very instrumental in my love of hip hop and my brother's development as an MC. I go into great detail about this song and its impact in the book. Now, on this day, there was a party thrown for Jimmy Spicer. Shout out to my man Zulu Jeff for the invite. And I was lucky enough to meet my childhood idol, Jimmy Spicer, at this party. And I ran up on him. I never met him before. And I said, excuse me, Mr. Spicer, can I take a selfie with you? And he said, sure. And I took that picture. And I put it on my wall, uh, rest in peace to the legendary, incredibly influential Jimmy Spicer, who, by the way, Karis one has mentioned in three separate occasions in songs over his career. I believe no other MC has mentioned Jimmy Spicer, a.k.a. Super Rhymes, like Karis one has. He was that influential to us. Okay, let's get to the video. Coincidentally, the topic of this video happens to be about plaques. And this plaque right here, hanging on my wall in particular. Now, what many people out there may or may not know is that when an artist sells a certain amount of records, he gets presented from the record company a plaque commemorating record sales. Either you get a plaque for going gold, which is 500,000 records sold, or you get a plaque for going platinum, which is 1 million records sold. And if you go multiple platinum, you get a plaque stating how many millions of records that you sold. It's a record company's way of showing appreciation to the people that worked on the project. Now, this particular plaque that I have hanging on my wall is a little different. This plaque was to commemorate Karis One's 10 year anniversary as an artist on Jive Records. As you can see here in the close up, they have all of the albums that Karis One released on Jive Records. This plaque was made in the year 1997, which was Karis One's 10 year anniversary, and it was presented to certain individuals. Now, how I discovered this plaque was I happened to go by Karis One's house. I'm going to call him Chris for the sake of this interview. Karis One is my brother. I call him Chris. I went by Chris's house and he happened to have this plaque presented to him still in the box on the floor in his living room. And I checked it out. I was like, wow, that is a dope plaque. And I figured, you know, Karis One's supposed to get a plaque like that commemorating 10 years on Jive. I also found out that a few other people in our crew was on the list to get plaques, but somehow 
we never received plaques. Now me, I don't really stress this kind of stuff that much. My brother Chris taught me that plaques and trophies and awards are meaningless. The only thing that matters is your respect from the people. And I, knowing what I know now about the music business, that is 100% correct. I then found out that our good friends and longtime supporters of BDP and family, the DJ duo, the Awesome Two, received a plaque. Well deserved. I was happy for them. They deserve it. Now, a little while after that, I happened to go up to the offices of Funk Master Flex. And while I was up there, I noticed that Funk Master Flex had one of these plaques hanging on his wall. Once again, much deserved, Funk Master Flex has broken a lot of BDP records over the years. But then I started to think, well, wow, there's more people getting these plaques than I actually thought. I wasn't upset, but I was just like, eh, I noticed it, and I put it in the back of my mind. So we happened to have a show that weekend, and we were headed to the show, and I was talking to longtime BDP member Willie D. Unfortunately, Willie D has since passed away, but a lot of people will notice on this channel that I bring up Willie D often. And the reason that I do is because Willie D A was a member of BDP from literally day one. He was a straight up dude and a straight up soldier. And if you notice on this channel, just about every controversy that BDP had, Willie D was right in the middle of it. Also, Willie D was quite the character. As a matter of fact, check out this quick clip from 1989. First of all, can you please all introduce yourselves? Well, I'm KRS-One, producer, writer. And your name? I'm Miss Melody. And your name? The glazing days never so amazing Willie D down with BDP. Okay, you guys are all down, <laughs> boogie down, people. <laughs> okay, so now I was talking to Willie D, and I told Will, yo, I was up at Funkmaster Flex's office, and Flex got one of these plaques hanging on his wall. When I told this to Willie D, he lost it. Will was like, hold up, all these dudes got plaques, and I ain't getting no plaque, and I've been down with BDP all these years. So as I was talking to Will, I also gave him some information that I discovered about plaques was that these plaques that the record company give out to people who worked on these projects cost $100. Now Will really lost it. I can't get a plaque for $100? $100? <laughs> so Will said, on Monday, I'm calling Job. So, that Monday, Willie D calls up a guy that we knew at Jive Records who might be able to get to the bottom of this whole plaque situation. So Will starts talking to the guy, basically explaining that, yo, you know, they're giving out plaques for Karis One's 10-year anniversary on Jive, and Will never got one, and Kenny Parker never got one. Now keep in mind, if you check out this plaque, you'll notice that on the plaque, there is the Boogie Down Productions live hardcore worldwide album on there. I DJ'd 95% of that album. If you also look, you'll see the Boogie Down Productions album called Edutainment, where there's a song on the album called The Kenny Parker Show. Also on this plaque is the album Sex and Violence, to which I produced five songs on that album, remixed a song on that album, and did a bonus song on that album called Feel the Vibe, Feel the Beat. So I was all over the Sex and Violence album. Also on this plaque is the Karis One album, The Return of the Boom Back, to which I also did some behind the scenes production on that album. And not only did I produce two remixes for that album, but I also produced a bonus song for that project called Hip Hop Versus Rap. Also featured on this plaque is the self-titled album by KRS-One called KRS-One. I produced a remix for a song on that album called 
rappers are in danger as well. So in a nutshell, if there's anyone in the BDP crew who might be deserving of a plat outside of KRS-One and D-Nice, it might be Kenny Parker. So anyway, Willie D calls up the guy from Jive Records and explains that we didn't get plaques and he would like one. The guy from Jive Records started saying, well, you know, Karis One did submit a list and you guys were on the list, but you know, due to the budget and certain circumstances, we had to reduce the list, blah, 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 blah. So now Will is getting tight because his attitude was, if you were gonna reduce the list, somebody else's name should have got reduced off the list, not our names. So Will and the guy got into a little shouting match and the guy was saying, you know, it's not up to me and this particular plaque doesn't cost the same amount of money as a regular plaque. These plaques are expensive, blah, blah, blah. Now let me say this in a way that meets the YouTube guidelines and standards. Will told the guy, hold on for a second. I want you to hear something. And then Will went and got the thing out and clicked it on the phone in the guy's ear and said, yo, I need a plaque. The guy immediately said, oh, 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 nah, Will, nah, I got you. Hold on, give me the names. I'll get right back to you. Believe it or not, y'all, in one week's time, this plaque right here was ready for me to pick up at Jive Records. Not only was this plaque waiting for me at Jive Records, but Willie D was so persuasive that they also gave me a plaque for the KRS-One I Got Next album, which had just went gold. I didn't even work on that album, and I got a plaque. Now, let me add this little nugget to the story to put everything in perspective. I have received plaques from groups that I wasn't even a part of. For example, I got a plaque from my main man, Biz Marquis, because I was in the studio during the recording of some of his album, The Biz Never Sleeps, including the song, Just a Friend, which I was in the studio for the mixing of that song, and I'm in the video. So I got a plaque from Biz. And I got a plaque from our fam, our cousins, Naughty by Nature, as a special thank you from the Flavor Unit. Shout out to Naughty by Nature. Shout out to Queen Latifah. Shout out to Sha Kim. As a matter of fact, here's a picture of Vin Rock sitting next to ICU. And in the background is Willie D and myself. So the question I have is, why can I get a plaque from groups that I'm not even a part of and in order to get a plaque from the group that I was in, my man Will had to remind dudes at Jive what time it was with BDP. The moral to the story, y'all, is most of these record company people are suckers. And in upcoming videos, I'm gonna give you guys more examples of just how whack these dudes really are. Anyway, y'all, that's my story. Thank you for watching the video to the end. If you like the video, please give me a like and a thumbs up. If you don't got the book, pick up the book, and I am out of here. Till next time, y'all, peace.